no matter what's going on, no matter what Trump does, I mean, he announced today he's going to dis, uh, dis, uh, dis, uh, uh, associate himself from his business, he's going to have a press conference in December, yet all I see in the liberal media is how it's not enough how it's not enough, how he's still going to benefit, he's still going to make decisions, his name is still up on buildings, that's going to increase the value, blah, 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 blah. No matter what he does, will never be enough for this media, which still doesn't get it. Well, remember the New York Times when charter schools started to thrive in Harlem? They were so annoyed because they like black people to be their little pets, and if black people like private business more than public schools, <coughs> it doesn't look good for them. So they had a headline that said, uh, though charter schools thrive in Harlem, it's not the perfect fix because not everyone can go there, you know. And you see this with the media and Trump. They keep coming up with some sort of criticism, like he tweets too much or he falsely claimed that uh, there was illegal votes. And then they have guests on their shows and the guests go, yeah, actually, uh, he's right. There was a lot of illegal voting. <laughs> and they go, uh, well, it was stupid that he, d he tweeted it. Why is he going to tweet? I have no problem with him tweeting. We're living in a different world. Uh, by tweeting, he reaches 10, I don't know what he's got, 15 million people. If he goes and see on CNN and does an interview, or goes on 60 Minutes and does an interview, or whatever, uh, he's only going to reach a couple of million. On CNN, it's 500,000. Anywhere else, 2, 2 million. So why not, why not tweet and not have to put up with the inane questions of, of the uh, people interviewing you? Because it's not presidential. It's not, I don't know when the left turned into aristocrats. All of a sudden they want the president to have a monocle on and be presidential. He's gotta have cufflinks. Look, we tried presidential candidates. You didn't like them. We, you, you made it such that we needed a brawler. So he brought in a brawler, he beat everyone up and then you're going, oh, he's too violent. Sorry, you left us no choice.